Hi, I'm Nico Rosberg. Hi, I'm Lewis Hamilton. It's time to get street smart. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> one zero, one zero. No, no I dropped right, it, man. I, saw I didn't it. even, it I didn't even freaking pick it. Was it. Right there. Oh, yeah. On the line. Oh, I'm killing you, man. Yeah, just because now it's filming really before you. in practice. It's I'm guessing, hey, man, under pressure. They look the same. Yeah, it does. Huh? Let's just uh, settle it on track. Which sounds good. See, I won. I'm ahead. I beat you. No, you didn't. I beat you for sure. While in a normal road car, we can rely on ABS for safety and comfort. In Formula One, ABS and power braking has been banned since the early 1990s. Formula One brakes are made out of carbon carbon composite. Very light, less than one and a half kilos, very strong and capable of working in temperatures of up to 700 centigrade. See the brakes are the, one of the most important things in getting you stopped when you're entering the corners, but they don't work when they're cold. Carbon fiber brakes are not like a normal road car, so you need to be able to get them up to something like 300 degrees, which is when they work at their optimum level. Without the ABS and without the power assistance, Nico and Lewis have to press the pedal up to 100 kilos, maybe 600 or 800 times per race. The interesting thing about a Formula One car is that it takes less distance to stop a Formula One car from 160 kilometers an hour than it does a road car from 100 kilometers an hour. When I first drove, when I was 17, it was just incredible, yeah? I went to the first corner and I hit the brakes and the G-force is so strong that I didn't expect it, so my head went straight down into my legs and I couldn't see where I was going anymore. And with brakes this powerful, it's possible to drive much closer to the car in front and also because on a racetrack you know more or less what the driver in front is going to do. This means the ability to pass somebody under the brakes while braking from 300 kilometers an hour all before 100 meters before the corner. What does it mean on the road? It means braking appropriately for the conditions, adapting if the conditions are wet, and always maintaining your distance from the driver in front. Hey, I have you easily, come on. I'm much closer. Mine's ahead, uh, man. We'll measure it then. 22? Yeah, easy. No way. 22? No! no. no. One more time, please. No way. One more time. No way. 22. Come yeah. on. I don't believe you. Get out of here. <laughs> At least it's even. It's no? even. That's it's even. Right. Okay, I agree. I think I won, though. Okay. <laughs>